Welcome to my channel. I am Hannah and today we're back with another hair video. Um, it's only been four weeks since I decided to destroy my hair last time, so here we are again destroying my hair. Last time I used the Arctic Fox Virgin Pink to actually color my hair, but today we're using a different color. Although it is pink, we're gonna be using the Frosé color from Arctic Fox. I think they do kind of describe this as more of like a rose gold color. So this is the Virgin Pink color. I don't know if there's enough in here to squeeze it out, but you can kind of see on the lid the color. And then um, Frosé is definitely more of a light pastel kind of bubblegum color. So we are gonna have to lighten the hair quite a bit in order to get it this color. Worst comes to worst, I will just add a little bit of this in with this color and we'll make it work. So let's reveal the hair because she's rough. I did just get done working, so this is my after work hair. But this is what it looks like, honestly. It's worse than the red was last time. There's like a piece through here that's like a really nice light color, which is kind of more or less what we're going for. I really don't remember how we did this last time, but I do remember I wasn't prepared, which is also a theme for what's happening at this very moment is I'm also not prepared. We are gonna be using the Pulp Riot. This is the 20 volume. And then we are also gonna be using the Pulp Riot color remover in order to pull this pink out. Now because we're going in with pink anyways, I'm not too, too concerned with removing all of it, but I definitely wanna remove most of it. So let's mix up the color before we part my hair. So I actually really liked this color last time. I actually used this to remove the red. I think the only thing was it was too cold. So because I'm doing it with it being a little bit warmer out, I feel like I have higher hopes. I don't have any tin foil in my house. I don't know how I don't have tin foil, but I don't have any tin foil. So we're just gonna have to make do with what we got. I feel bad because this is basically like the exact same thing as last time, but we're doing a different color this time. Even though it's pink, we're still trying out a different color. So hopefully we can get like a nice pastel-y pink versus like this electric pink, which I've gotten so many compliments on this hair color, it's a little ridiculous. I know, I have a lot of dandruff right now. Okay, we're gonna mind our business. We're not gonna worry about it. We already know it's looking rough. All right, it's dry. Leave my scalp alone. And then I remember last time when I sectioned it, anywhere that didn't look straight, I kind of went back through. I'm not too, too worried about it because again, we are gonna go in with bleach anyways. So if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. And we are gonna recolor the top. So if there's a little bit of pink, it'll be fine. And then I remember, I just went like straight behind my ears. And then I was like, well, you know, yeah, most of it we do. And then it looked pretty okay. Oh my God, does that look horrible in the back? I think at this very moment in time, this is the best we're gonna get. I'm just trying not to do that thing where you, you know, continuously color your hair or part your hair to color it. And then one side just get, keeps getting just bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm trying to avoid that. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna have to do the same thing that I did last time where I do mids and then roots. I think that is gonna be what we're just gonna have to do. The ends I have a feeling are gonna process pretty quick, but even like in this light, I'm sure you guys can probably see the mids have such like an orange tint to them because there was still red on it. The best part about this hair color, I'm sorry, this color remover is the fact that it sticks to the strand so well. Like I can't even begin to tell you how much I love the fact that when you put it on, like it actually stays, it's not dripping. Like it has such a nice thickness to it. Like, can we talk about that? This has literally been going on for a couple minutes and it's already, do you see how it's already blonde? Girl. Even with it being just a little bit warmer in the house, this is processing so much faster and so much better than it was last time because last time it was so much colder. So I would say that if, if it is a little bit colder in your home, you're gonna have to incubate it with some foil. That was my mistake last time. I definitely should have done that. And now I'm over here like, God, could you imagine how much nicer that pink would have looked if I would have done that? Well, I'm gonna leave this sit for a couple minutes and then I will be back to do the ends and then the roots. I don't really think you guys will like really care to see the roots because I mean, it's the roots, but I will see you guys probably in about 30 minutes and then we will do the ends, do the roots, and we will rinse.
I have it washed, I have it dried, I do not washed, but I have it, I have it rinsed out. I did not shampoo it, I just rinsed it. So I probably could have shampooed it now that I'm thinking about it but I didn't. So I'm gonna take the Frosé shade. I forgot to take the safety seal off. And then this is literally the most satisfying part ever about putting color in your bleached hair. Mm-hmm. Also, why am I doing this with gloves on? Well, whatever. It's a little too late now, I guess. I just want to make sure like with the lighter shades that I'm just super super saturating this because I feel like if I don't saturate it and I miss anything it's gonna be so noticeable that I missed it and I'm just not it I'm just I'm just not here for it so another mistake that I think I made last time was I don't think I had my hair dry all the way so I feel like places where it was like a little wet still it just really didn't like saturate in there so I I did make sure that this time I did dry my hair a little bit better To do the red. Are you guys ready for this reveal? I have you zoomed in real close because I know it's giving some of it away, but I don't want to give all of it away. But here she is. I love how this hair turned out. I love that the Frosé is definitely more of like that bubblegum pink, but it has quite a bit of orange tone to it. So I would almost describe this as like a rose gold once it's actually on your hair. Granted, my hair was not white when I colored it, so maybe the orange is probably some of the orange that was left behind previously. I think that if you have more of like a white pink, you're gonna get like that true baby pink hair color. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what color you guys like best on me. If you guys like this one, if you guys like the other pink, if you guys like the red. I kind of want to try a different color. Maybe next time I will try an orange or I could even do this color mixed with a little bit of orange. I could do the red color mixed with a little bit of orange. We got options. So let me know what you guys think right down below. Other than that, I will catch you guys next Sunday for another upload. Mwah. Bye guys.